Ooh wee! Days of our lives ain't got nothing on this Real Housewives love square. Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams recently tied the knot to her short time fiance back in November. And although the pretty ensembles and bright colors may have distracted viewers for the meanwhile, it still wasn't enough to make us forget about the true shady depths of their little union. In a case of, my man is my man is your man hurt, it's her man too. Nigerian millionaire Simon Gwobadia is supposedly out here being messier than a baby in a high chair. Simon was introduced to us via Housewives as the supportive husband to one of Portia's gal pals, Fallon Pina, but ended up ditching Pina for Portia not long after. Immediately, fans began to drag Portia by her lace front, as well as her ball-headed sugar poppy, new hubby, all while cybercoddling poor Fallon, who was left blindsided by her now ex-husband's sudden betrayal. Except poor Fallon would turn into forget Fallon real quick after more information surrounding her and Simon's relationship reached the surface. And let's just say, you can't make this stuff up. A breakup is hard on anyone who's ever experienced one. And depending on how long the relationship lasted, it can be even more difficult to suddenly get over such a once upon a time commitment. If you were really committed, that is. Is Portia committed to Simon? Or the bag that comes with him? You know what? That's neither here nor there, because the real questions are, is Simon really committed to Portia? Was Simon even committed to his ex? Was his ex committed to him? Simon and Portia's love story goes deeper than the Pacific Ocean. In short, it's a mess. When Portia shared an image of her man, businessman Simon Guabadia, back in May of 2021, fans were left dazed and confused, wondering when on earth did this happen? Life would come at them fast, not even a month later. Matter of fact, in the same exact month, she announced her engagement to Grandpa Simon via her IG page after only a month of dating. I'll give you a moment to soak that in. Portia clearly doesn't take her own advice, citing her tendency to fall in love quickly following her split with ex Dennis McKinley. Right away, Portia's followers tripped running to her comment section to give their opinions on the announcement. And needless to say, they were not here for the blatant thievery of their friend's man. Give that girl her man back, Portia. Her nor Simon were here for the naysayers ignoring the call-outs from every which way and around the corners until she decided to take to her Instagram once again, claiming that everyone had the wrong idea. She wasn't a man-stealer. In fact, her friend and Simon had already called it quits before Simon and Portia got together. Everyone just calm down. The post shouldn't have turned the backlash into water under the bridge. Instead, it exacerbated the situation even further, and the internet detectives were set and ready to catch Portia and her new man in a lie. Except what they'd soon discover would be more complex than that. Whilst Portia and Simon were posted up on yachts, giving lovey-dovey couple goals photo ops, Fallon Guabadia, introduced as Portia's friend on The Real Housewives season 13, was on the sidelines weeping to the public about her abrupt end with her now ex. Although she and Simon were very much in fact still married at the time, the two were separated. The viewers may have been on Portia's neck throwing accusations at her at top speed, but Fallon, on the other hand, didn't seem to be placing the blame on Portia at all. Let Fallon tell it, her divorce had nothing to do with pretty Portia and everything to do with her and Simon not seeing eye to eye. Whew! Well, that solves things, doesn't it? Wrong. Fallon began to flip-flop more than a runny pancake, and fans grew suspicious of her stories, interviews, and timeline of events. Simon and Fallon were together for five years before officially tying the knot in June of 2019. The 57-year-old petroleum company-owning father of five 
and 33-year-old model and mother of four, Simon nor Fallon have any actual kids together, mind you. Relationship was doing fairly well. According to Fallon, I doubt that last thing on her mind was that her castmate would end up marrying her husband. Just a year later, Simon ended up filing for divorce from Fallon. Not once, but twice. Once in January of 2021, and again on February 19th of the same year, just days before taking to his Instagram to post about his wife along with a caption all about fighting for love. The irony. Announcing their split in April of that year, just a month later, he'd pop up with Portia on his arms, which got the people wondering if Simon had been seeing Portia behind Fallon's back this entire time. But wait, didn't Fallon say Portia had nothing to do with her and Simon's divorce? Describing her and Simon's split, Fallon let it be known that she was hurting a lot. After all, she's been with this man since she was 27. In the midst of the mess, Fallon continued on her hobo tour, giving interviews to anyone willing to listen, sharing her feelings about Portia and Simon's whole union. But the more she talked, the less people believed her. Catching wind of an interview Fallon did with Adam Newell, Simon had enough of the woe is me pity party Fallon and housewife fans were throwing for her and took to his social medias to air everybody out. Y'all then woke Simon from his nap, and he wasn't happy. Let's start with who she cheated with and is currently pregnant by and living in a home I paid for, post-divorce. This is how your generosity gets twisted. Let's get started there. And just like that, the plot thickens. Don't let the pretty face and victim tears fool you. She's a cheater, your honor. In June, Simon let the cat all the way out the bag and exposed his now ex-wife Fallon for the manipulating, trifling woman she really was. Apparently, it was Fallon who'd been cheating all along, hence the reason for the first attempt at a divorce back in January. Simon not only called her out, but called out her supposed side dude as well. At Jalen Duckworth, aka Jalen Banks, a.k.a. Fallon's longtime so-called best friend. At least that's what she was telling Simon he was to her. Turn to her and Simon's in-house assistant. Not Fallon cheating with the help, as Simon described him in the post. Not only did Simon accuse old girl of cheating and lying to him, but get this, he also claimed she was pregnant by Jalen. After his DMs were flooded, Jalen took to his Insta to deny all reports, claiming he and Fallon were just friends. But oh, we're not done yet. Simon continued to drop his so-called receipts. Surveillance footage of his thin wife and Jalen creeping into the driveway of their home after hours while trying to hide from security cameras. Guess she wasn't aware of the 360 degree angles. Some believe Simon, while others thought this was an attempt to get the heat off of his back. By June, they were all singing a different tune, not even a month later, when Fallon posted a bunch of quote-unquote date night videos and photos of her and Jalen sharing a kiki out and about on her IG, whose handle still read at Fallon Guabadia. It didn't help that Jalen also posted pics to his Insta with a caption reading, a man is truly a man when he earns the respect of a good woman and keeps her trust. Uh, okay. Not necessarily solid evidence, but folks were quick to force it as such. They're a little too close to be just best friends, ain't it? We think so. Just cause three months later, the two were engaged. Although suspicious, surely that doesn't mean what we think it does. Wouldn't be the first time friends turn to lovers. The next month, November 25th, Simon and Portia enjoyed their traditional Nigerian wedding, followed by an Americanized ceremony the next day, attended by many of her housewives' castmates. Fallon wouldn't be asked to return to any further seasons, ending her housewives' run. Her run as a housewife was obsolete, but them diaper runs weren't. It's a mom and a girl. Just a day after Simon and Portia's wedding, Fallon gave birth to her baby girl, Emma, 
and despite hypothesis about the baby being Simon's, Jalen Banks was revealed to be the father. This marking Fallon's fourth child by four different men. Again, none belonging to Simon, who has five himself and her first girl. Portia was married to her Fallon's man, given the fact Simon and Fallon were very much separated, yet still technically married at the time of Portia and Simon's little flame that turned into a big thing. Fallon got engaged to her longtime friend and former assistant Jalen, and everyone lived happily ever after. Until people started adding two plus two and getting fish. Let's rewind this soap opera back a little. If Fallon gave birth to her baby girl on November 27, 2021, then that must mean she conceived late February or early March. Simon said Fallon was cheating on him with their joint assistant Jalen throughout their marriage, to which Fallon and Jalen both sternly deny. But if the two weren't already together during that time, then how come Fallon conceived so quickly not even a few weeks after her divorce from Simon? Mind you, Simon did say Fallon was pregnant long before she announced it, and also before she and Jalen came out publicly with their relationship. Just one month after they both denied sneaking around Simon's back. It appears as though Simon was telling the truth this whole time. Or perhaps he knew Fallon and Jalen were together way before his decision to divorce her because Simon himself was cheating long before Fallon ever did. If she did. After all, he is the one who shamelessly came out and said that he has no problem being in a polygamous relationship. Where I come from, nothing wrong with having different women. My grandpa had 25 wives. 2020 screenshots posted by Jalen show Simon and his and Fallon's DMs, basically proclaiming that he and her marriage was over. It was more than clear that Simon checked out of the union years ago. Fallon, on the contrary, insists that she and Simon had a mutual understanding that they were both done with the relationship and went their separate ways long before they told us about it. This is the time some believe that Portia and Simon actually began dating. Doesn't help that Portia has since come out and confessed that not only were she and Fallon never actual friends, it was all for show, but that she met them in 2020 at a restaurant and not at someone's home as previously stated on the show. It sounds to me like everyone involved knew what time it was behind the scenes, but to save face and make it look good on paper, played it up for the viewers. Also a petty tick for tack between Fallon and Simon, who Fallon deems a narcissist. Did we forget to mention Simon has five kids and been married four times? Good luck, Portia. How do you enjoy this trifling soap opera? Do you believe Fallon cheated on Simon? Simon cheated on Fallon? They cheated on each other or one didn't cheat at all. Or do you think everyone partaking in the foolishness are equally responsible for their share of BS? Let us know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. And stay tuned for more true celebrity stories.